is, you know, why did you choose to center activism as the public-facing part of your life? Well, I didn't plan it that way. <laughs> uh, I was a pretty regular, and I think that's one aspect of this story, one aspect of this book, is that I think it tries to show that an ordinary person can, can help to build a movement and can help bring about change. Uh, I did not come from a political family. I did not come from a family of activists. Uh, I don't think any of my family were, to my knowledge, I mean, I was a kid, what, I mean, I only know what they told me, but I don't think they were members of the NACP. My mother was a seamstress. She worked literally around the corner in the Hoffman Eyes and Cleaners on 16th Avenue. My father was a truck driver who passed away when I was four years old. And um, I wasn't privy to any discussions about race in my family until the night, July 1967, when the rebellion broke out. And we literally, we lived in a three-family house, three stories. We had our apartment on the second floor, <clears throat> and we were sitting on the porch literally watching the rebellion unfold in our, in our part of Newark, because